Hey, Jason? Yes. Stay classy, will you? All right. No I, lo- I love this. This guy's a wedding photographer. Uh, he's going to talk about you stay classy, how classless wedding people are. We'll do that next here on WLS. We have a mystery movie we want to play for you, okay? Hey, Jason. Yes. I was a wedding DJ. So I went through a lot of uh, I went to a lot of weddings. Went through a lot of nightmare with these people. And here's what I found. And this is going back to the '80s. Wow. But it, everything was a thousand dollars. And when I got married, everything was it was everything's a th- it doesn't matter if you and I just did something. It's like two three hundred dollars. Oh, it's a wedding. A thousand dollars. We need some swizzle sticks. It's a thousand dollars. Man, dude, everybody jacked everything up for weddings. So uh, you're a professional uh, video. Uh, guy, you you videotaped yes. weddings. Um, <clears throat> yes. And so, tell us some of the stories. Well, uh, it's, it's amazing that uh, alcohol can bring out the worst in people. I'm surprised, you know. But um, some people decide, hey, eight shots of vodka before the ceremony, we should do that. You know, face plant during the ceremony. It's, uh, uh, it's a good, lo- a lot of fun. Lonely fat bridesmaids drunk at their <laughs> friend's wedding. Boy, are they fun! Looking for love in all <laughs> the wrong places. Yeah. Yes. No, the drunk guests are worth the $50 ladle that I purchased as a guest. Uh, it's, it's, and they requested, I, mean, I just remember they would request a song, okay, and then another song. Right. Okay, right. And, that's, and the same girl standing there. And then I want, and okay, and then, and then play, and then, okay, well, I don't have that. You suck. <laughs> you don't know me, Tina. <laughs> <laughs> And now they do those songs down the aisle, right? I mean, they're like they're like Broadway plays, Jason, just to get to the altar. Yeah, each each member of the bridal party gets their own entrance theme. It takes like forty five minutes to get everyone down, and then their ceremony's late, and then everything's late. And uh, yeah, DJs get a uh, same amount of crap as I do. It's uh, it's pretty funny. Man, I, now I feel bad because Rahm Emanuel was in my wedding, and we played "Liar" by Henry Rollins when he came down, <laughs> and then "Baby Elephant" when Conkel came down the aisle. Oh. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that was a good one. You were at my wedding. I forgot. I was there. I sat next to a couple pimps. <laughs> Sunset Thomas. You were at the good table then, oh, man. Yeah. Don Magic Wand. Don Magic Wand was there. with his Jeremy? chalice. Ron yeah. Jeremy was there too. Ron Jeremy oh. was on my left. Oh. Jerry Springer. All these people. Dennis my, Hoff. I'm, oh, the late. Uh, good morning. Late, good late, morning. Late. The late Dennis. Oh. The devil. He was the devil. Yeah. Oh God, was he the devil? What man? What man could uh, could could have a friend like that and resist? And yet I did. I'm not holier than now. Not breaking my. Arm pat myself on the back. He'd send me a picture of some beautiful girl. She turns legal at midnight. I will send her to a hotel near your house. Your wife need never know. What? I, Dennis, I'm married. I, what are you talking about? What a guy. I do this gift for you. Just put me on your show and promote my book. <laughs> Dennis, Dennis, you're the devil. You're the devil. One of them was, she's 22. She's a runaway. Look at her. She's gorgeous. She's at a bus stop right now in Chicago. She just texts me. Give her $100. Yeah. At your wedding. <laughs> what? At your wedding, you told Sunset Thomas, show him your underwear. Oh, we got to talk about that because there's a guy in prison that wants Jen's panties. Oh, great. Is panty an offensive word to women? Kind of. Well, yeah, no, it's, it's, yeah. there's, a, uh, there's worse. Underpants is a funnier word. That's very funny to hear a man like Kunkel say underpants. Underpants. <laughs> it's funny because. Hey, man, Cal, there's uh, one thing you might really appreciate in this book. Yes. Let's get it ton of pop culture references, including a printed Macho Man Randy Savage impression. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, uh, yeah. Wait, somebody did a Macho Man impression? I do. I do a lot of... Uh, 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 oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, Mark Hoffman came out at his wedding, you know, the uh, a la carte entertainment, and did, like, I don't even... Did some weird dance down the aisle and was throwing money out. and The Greeks throw money, right? Yeah. And the Jewish people hold you up in a chair. And, yeah. My brother-in-law. I'm did. making some really brilliant cultural observations here. <laughs> yes. My brother-in-law did the the, th- the thriller dance. Also, oh. uh, Backstreet Boys. Oh, so mm. embarrassing. By himself. Uh, <laughs> you stay classy, wedding people. Uh, Jason Drake is his book, and uh, he's a local boy, and it's getting great reviews, and it's very funny. And if you're getting married, you might enjoy this or not. Just get it. The Man Cow.